Vegas is the place where you get to do like everything. You get to have the best time. Oh yeah, no, I'm literally here for it all. I would have recommended that you go see Magic Mike Live, but I know you already did that with some of your co-stars not too long ago. <laughs> we did, and it turned into a big fight, which you'll see on television. Somebody got a little, you know, I don't know, offended. I was like, how? Okay, but whatever. Erica, how did these girls always ruin a good time? I mean, this is ridiculous. Because they want to. You know, that's how. You know you know how you ruin a good time? Because you want to ruin it. Yeah. You know, you want to, you want to say something foul and you want to say something that ruins everybody's night. And so, but you know, it's great. I didn't let it bother me. I kept on going. So I had a good time. Everybody else was rushing around. And I, got, I was like, you know what, y'all, my friends are on this stage and I'm watching them. By the way, I'd had a few cocktails. I was having a great time and that's what you should do. It's magic mic. Come on now. And I think that's what I'm honestly looking forward to the most when it comes to this new season. We're gonna see you just shining. We know at the end of the season, we see you at that football stadium doing a fun oh, little thing. Like, come on. Come on, here's what's, here's what's crazy. You know, Kyle resurrected her legendary white party. And, and, you know, she had access to SoFi. And she goes, will you perform? And I thought, oh, what? Like, you know, I haven't performed in three years but I'm getting ready for this residency, so what better way to knock off the rust than SoFi Stadium? <laughs> so I said, of course, you know, like, come on. It was unbelievable, and to think that that's gonna be a Housewives finale. When I tell you the production value and the way the show looks, and it's so impressive, and SoFi Stadium is really impressive, just, because we got Kyle and I got a chance to run around the entire stadium and really take a good look at it before we film. It's just really what a great place. What an honor, really. I know it's up. I mean, some would say it's a taste of what's to come, Erica. I mean, you never know. You never know. Hey, crazy has happened, clearly. That's what I'm saying. You mentioned Kyle. Of course, right now we know that girl's going through it right now. Do you just have any comments, any response to the crazy things that are kind of being thrown out there about our girl Kyle right now? I do, I do. Which is, you know what? I'm gonna let Kyle speak for herself. And I'll tell you why. You know, when this thing happened to me and everything that happened to me, I remember a lot of people having comments. And it's just, it's not anyone else's place to comment on her marriage but her because only she and Mauricio really know what's going on out there um I've seen Kyle she's good and it's just it's not fair let her tell her own story and that was the one thing I think that you know bothered me the most was let me tell my story and I think that we should let Kyle tell her story as well so beautifully said and I'm sure you would agree all you're looking for during that time is just support you just want your support from some friends right you just want to know that people actually care about you and that they're there for you and not, you know, it's really in those times that you see who shows up for you. Mm -hmm. Girl, and you've been saying that for quite a few years and girl, it's safe to say it's, it's coming true now. Who's been there, Erica? Who's been there? <laughs> It's, it, you're right about that, 100%. Well, last question for you. We are obviously so excited for this upcoming season. Is there anything else you can tease us when it comes to the shenanigans that we're in store for? I think that we had a good time. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, look, Housewives is full of conflict and full of drama. I think that we have that. I know that I had a good time this year, which was actually a well-deserved break from insanity. <laughs> and I enjoyed myself. And that was um, a... I needed that. I needed to enjoy myself on the show. I needed to enjoy myself around these women. And I definitely did that. And I got great news, which was my residency. And that for me really changed a lot of how I felt about the show and how I felt on the show.